Derek Lewis' retirement from mixed martial arts lasted less than a month. Hardly long enough to call his next fight, scheduled for this Saturday, October 7 at UFC 216, a comeback, Lewis returned to competition is as inevitable as the retirement announcement was surprising. If anything, it's a concession he spoke too soon, that he wasnt thinking straight following a loss, and is a sign, once again, that the UFC heavyweight division remains a rotting carcass from which many are still happy to chew. Derek Lewis is not alone in this. He's not the only fighter to retire and return. Even light heavyweight Anthony Rumble Johnson, a man who seemed certain he was quitting back in April, has recently suggested he might return to the cage, only this time as a heavyweight. Funny, that. He, like Lewis, like everyone else with even a passing interest in mixed martial arts, can see opportunities aplenty in the sport's so-called marquee division. Headed up by UFC champion Stipe Miocic, heavyweight is a weight class chock full of guys in their late 30s and 40s, many of whom have been knocked out countless times, and boasts a top 10 that can be penetrated with just a single decent win. Anthony Johnson realizes this. So too does Derek Lewis, someone who was last seen being beaten up by Mark Hunt, but who figures a win over Fabrizio Wordham this weekend will amend all of that, surpass all that came before it, and perhaps land him a title shot early next year. Who knows, certainly, though, Lewis and the rest would anti be so quick to retire and then unretire if their division was packed full of deadly young heavyweights eager to usher out the old guard. Lewis isnt old. In fact, at 32, he's positively wet behind the ears when compared to Hunt 43, Wordham 40 and Alistair Overeem 37. But he's still been around the block once or twice. As well as a stoppage loss to Hunt, he has also been halted by Matt Midtrione and Sean Jordan. He is, therefore, no fresh face or new name. He's not a Francis Nano. We figure we know what Lewis can and can't do at this stage. He probably knows, too, despite the fact he says he has dieted for the first time ahead of this Wordham matchup and, though hungry, expects to be all the better for it. I was still eating fried chicken and hamburgers all of fight week, Lewis told Flockumbat. The day of the fight, I've stayed eating the same way my whole career. Now I'm going to see what the difference is to see what all the fuss is about. My mouth is watering right now thinking about some Carl's Jr. I'm starving. You eat salad and you're hungry the next 30 minutes and you're hungrier from when you ate the damn salad. That's what I don't like about it. The damn McRib was in town. I had to miss the McRib and all the other things. My favorite restaurant had a special going on and I couldn't even eat it. Somebody's gotta pay. Lewis has a couple of things in his favor. He is, for one, a big personality in the sport, someone liable to say amusing and self-deprecating stuff like the above, and will therefore always grab attention. This love of Lewis will have only been enhanced by the heartwarming story of him helping victims of Hurricane Harvey in the lead-up to his next fight. Secondly, he is accustomed to putting on fun fights. He goes out there and throws hands wildly from the off. And looks for the knockout, his mentality very much kill or killed. Win or lose, he's always watchable. Right now, in 2017, that's probably enough. Get some victories added to that package and you're there or thereabouts. Next in line, Derek Lewis must understand that. It's why he perseveres. It's why he reneged on the retirement vow. And it's why he looks at Fabricio Wordham, now 40, having lost seven times and been knocked out by Myasic, and sees not only a former UFC heavyweight champion, but an opportunity. One punch and everything changes, one win and everything changes. These are heavyweights, after all.